Foreign Secretary William Hague is hosting an international summit to discuss the Libya crisis at Downing Street today. The UN-backed no-fly zone has been in operation in the country for over a week now and coalition forces are continuing with airstrikes across the country. Our reporter Paul Barnes joins us live now from the city of Misrata. Paul, what is the situation like now on the ground? Well, Katie, you don't need to look too far to see evidence of what's been going on overhead here in the last week or so. In fact, you can probably see behind me the remainders of a burnt-out vehicle which has come under attack only last night. On the ground itself in Masrata, it's a city of about half a million people. Um, certainly, as we've been walking around the streets, we've seen little pockets of areas some of which have been taken control of by the rebel uprising, but there are certainly other areas as well which um, are remaining defiant um, and still remain in control of troops loyal to Gaddafi. In terms of civilian casualties, thankfully we haven't seen too much evidence of this so far, um, and there doesn't seem to be too much ground fighting. Most of the attacks seem to have come from overhead. And Paul, how close is the coalition to ending Colonel Gaddafi's reign as leader? Well, David Cameron and President Obama both spoke at length last night about the need to remove Gaddafi from power, but they also, they also emphasised the importance of not uh, uh, targeting him initially. Certainly the UN sanction does not allow for this anyway, so I think at the moment that question remains to be seen. It, nobody's really sure of how long this uh, mission could take. And what about an end game? People are asking about how long it might take for coalition forces to pull out. I, like I said again, David Cameron and President Obama do not want another situation to arise like in Iraq. So I think at the moment they're just going to concentrate on aerial assaults and gradually let the rebel uprising at attack Gaddafi's city of Tripoli and take it from there. Paul Barnes, thanks very much.